everyone, Firebro999 here and welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Last time, we went back to World 1 to clear up those missing courses that I did because when I was playing through originally, I got I kind of got a little too excited, skipped a few levels by accident, but I got I got that all taken care of. World 1 is now 100% complete, but now we're back at World 3 because I actually want to show you guys something. Uh, to 100% World 3, you actually have to return to the Royal Seed Mansion and get this special world path opened up so if you haven't done that you might have not every level checked off on world three but just return to that royal seed mansion get this path opened up and then you should have world three 100 percent complete but now we got that all taken care of we don't really have to be here anymore so let's go to the pedal aisle so we can actually play some new levels finally All right, we are in the Petal Isles, and now we can move on to Jewel Block Cave. Usually on the Petal Isle courses, I switch to Yoshi. You know, just so every character can get the screen time. But for this first level, I'm going to stay as Toad, because there's a certain power-up in here that I do want to show off. So let's begin. And I'm pretty sure this is like one of those stages where uh, a Yoshi can't 100% it. I'm not sure. But I want to show off the power-up anyway, so... Uh, I actually have it in storage because I kind of failed the recording earlier, but we're all good. So we are Drill Toad. Picking up a Drill Mushroom will turn you into a Drill Toad. And this allows us to travel on dirt ceilings as well as dirt ground. You'll be able to pop off of it, and you can drill up on these little crystal blocks and destroy them. So it, it's a pretty cool power-up. I do think the bubble power-up is probably my favorite out of all the new items here, but yeah. Drill item is pretty cool. It also turns your little ground pound into a drill ground pound, which allows you to kill spinies and enemies that you normally wouldn't be able to in your normal form. So yeah. And you can also travel underneath these tiny little gaps. A little bit similar to how the mini mushroom worked, but obviously that power up is not in this game. Uh, you want to be careful here, but we'll free the flowers, because why not? Oh! See, I got a- <laughs> I just straight up ate my own words. I kind of assumed there would be something underneath those, but... You know what, let's just stop being stupid now. It's really satisfying, like, breaking the blocks from below, though. I don't know why that's so satisfying. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I I honestly thought I would be able to wall jump after screwing that up, but apparently not. Let's get one of the spinies over here so we can break that up real quick. Because I kind of worry I'm going to miss out on a secret if I don't break every single one. There is a pipe over here, however, so I guess we'll take care of that now. Let's go around and break this block. Go underneath here. Break that crate and... Go inside that pipe. So yeah, you can't 100% this level with Yoshi or Nabbit, unfortunately. Imagine Yoshi with these new power-ups, though. It'd be so cool. Is there not, like, a... I'm trying to, like, ground pound. Okay, that's not working. Doesn't seem to be a purple tin coin in here. Alright, we do get a one up, however, so that's pretty good at least. Okay. There is something under here, though. Oh god, I gotta be careful. Oop. What was underneath there? Nothing? 
Okay, yeah, that was a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Oops. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh-oh, we do have something up here, though. Hold on. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm usually not this bad. We do have some goodies up here. We'll take those coins. Tiny little purple coin. Hold on, my dog is preparing to jump on me. Come on. There we go. My dogs love interrupting my recordings. Whoa! Those are really tricky enemies. But actually, I'm kind of curious. There could be something underneath here. That could benefit me. Yes, there's a vine. I knew it. All right, that is our second purple tin coin. Now let's keep it going. Uh oh, a lot of stuff everywhere. Here's our wonder flower. Let's break that open. And... Uh-oh. We gotta get out of here! I wanted to get the spare power, but I just realized I don't really need it like that. Ah! I'm trying to break it! That's not working. There's the Wonder Seed! Let's break that open! Ah, there we go. Sorry, I gotta readjust my monitor, because uh, it's blocking the right half of my screen. There we go. All good. Uh, looking around. Yep, that's everything from here. I thought they would put, like, the purple coin in there. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Let's jump up. Grab it. Pretty easy level for collectibles. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, never mind. Let me just go for it. Run! Is there anything up here? Just some bonus coins. All right. That is everything out of there. Boom! You thought. And bam! Top of the flagpole. I, I apologize once again for my horrible performance, because, like, God. When I'm editing this, I'm going to be looking back and cringing at how horrible my gameplay in this was. Okay, so let's talk to this Poplin shop runner. Because we actually haven't spent our stuff in a long time here. So let's buy the Wonder Seed from here. Um, let's go for some standees. Why not? I sure love gotcha games. We got Elephant Daisy. We got Crouching Blue Toad. Aw, Light Blue Yoshi in the Cloud. We got Swimming Nabbit. And just one more. Balloon Luigi. How fun. Come back again sometime? I probably will. Uh, however, I do think, actually, before we continue on... Alright, quick edit there, everybody. I was backtracking, checking all the worlds out, just to make sure that I got all the little Poplin Shop uh, Wonder Seeds, but we got them all. Luckily. Uh-oh. Look at Bowser over there. Let's continue on and actually switch our character this time. We are going to be Yellow Yoshi! That was a pretty short, uh, Petal Isle segment. But now we can move on to the Sunbaked Desert. Let's go. And I am very excited to play this world again, because this, my friends, is my favorite world in the whole game. Anyway, the Sunbaked uh, Desert is so dry and deserty. 
I'm going to take all the water for myself. Everyone else is going to be so thirsty, but not me. Bowser Jr., you little turd. But, welcome once again to World 4 Sunbaked Desert. I love this world a lot. Normally, desert levels in Mario don't really stand out to me this much, but I really love this world. So this is the Sunbaked Desert. There's white sand everywhere. It makes all the dunes look so bright. I think the palace here will have another royal seed. Phew, it's really hot, but... Let's keep going as best we can, and press L if you need the map. Look at that! Alright, Sunbaked Desert House. Let's check this out, see what this poplin has. It's so hot. I bet. I'm glad it's not summertime right now, honestly. <laughs> it just sort of bounced off my nose. Ah, uh, I'm so thirsty! Where's all the water? Oh, my prince! I'm sorry to say that I have none to offer you. An awful scoundrel had come to the Sunbaked Desert and stolen almost every drop of our water! Help us, please! You've got to get our water back! I'll even give you a Wonder Seed to help you on your way! Hey, I appreciate that. What a horrible situation! Let's hurry to the palace and do what we can, before all the poplins in the desert wilt! I mean, y'all could just take a little walk to the Petal Isles real quick and get a little drink of water there. Granted, you'll have to boil it to get all the nasty chemicals out of it, but... You know, you can filter it out. Get some fresh island water. Okay, so yeah, this is a big open area. Look at all this. Prince! The oasis has the very last of the water left in the Sunbaked Desert! There used to be a lot of water around the palace, but that was before that kid stole it. I'll keep an eye on the oasis, but please, take back our palace! We'll make sure. If you get lost in the vast expanses of white sand, press L to open courses. Press A on the course you want to jump to and you'll head straight there. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of hidden courses here, and trust me, during my first playthrough, I missed out on a lot of these levels. Here at the Poplin Shop, we sell everything! The timed high jump badge is perfect for desert treks. Pick one up! Alright, let's buy that. Let's get that Wonder Seed as well. And... Let's switch to it. This is a very, very important badge to 3D and 2D Mario. You'll get the reference when I show it off. But yeah, we have a missing level over here, but actually, before we get down there, let's go to a more general first level over this way. Oh, look! Uh, <laughs> should we start off with the search party? Sure. I often revisit this level on my own file, just to help people out on here, by the way. Some guy uh, on Twitter, there was this Japanese player that tagged me, and he thanked me on Twitter <laughs> from it, by the way. It was a wholesome... Uh, encounter, so I definitely recommend playing online. So yeah, I know this course inside out. So first, you want to go to... Oh damn, I kind of forgot. <laughs> Alright, but you have to go down here, and if you want to get here, you might be confused. Ah, that pipe isn't working! You have to go this way. And you'll be granted with the first medal, or second one at that. It's all good, though. Okay, now that you got that out the way, you want to go all the way to the right here. And you want to hit up on this hidden blue toad block. There's another hidden block right here. Simply get there. And you'll get the next uh, wonder token. I thought this... Uh, Time badge was a little bit different, by the way. Nah, it just makes you jump higher in rhythm. I was thinking of a different triple jump kind of thing. But yeah, if you want to get to the next one, you just push the pipe over, jump over here, and you'll get the next token. It's a piece of cake, guys. Oh. Now, next one, you want to go to the second to last pipe here. Go this way. 
push the pipe forward and you'll get the next one. And the final one is pretty simple. So you can either use your new badge to easily make it up there or if you don't have this badge, uh, simply go down on this fourth pipe, jump, jump, jump. Oh crap, I fumbled it, but you see what I did there. And the last medal will be right here and you will be granted with your prize this Wonder Seed. Let's grab it. Heck yeah. Well, yeah, I love revisiting that level and helping people out online and doing the little happy emotes. It's wholesome. Okay, uh, we got that taken care of. Um, you want to look around because there are a lot of secrets in this world. Uh, let's go here, actually. Yep, we have a hidden level here. Blooms of the Desert Skies. Let's go ahead and do this one. I'm not gonna do it in a random order. I'm just gonna wing it here. <laughs> All right. That is a bloomp. They will fly forward. If you jump on them, they will constantly run out of air. And when they're out of air, they will just straight up deflate on you. Oh, God. That is a purple one. Those are a lot faster and bigger. Not really bigger, but, you know, they do travel at a faster pace. An item I can't use. Let's get this. Oh. And make our way up here. Oh, it's just a little purple coin secret up there. Shells will instantly pop them. Obviously. Oh, okay. Let me get rid of that. <laughs> That's going to interrupt me quite a bit. There we go. You can get a lot of coins by doing that, but we don't really have to go up there right now. Uh-oh, we have a bubble here. We freed another talking flower! Oh my god, it died! Oh, he could fly. Never mind. Good for you, buddy. You want to be careful, because those things will definitely knock you in that pit. And yes, enemies are also affected by it, which is pretty cool. You wouldn't assume normally, but yeah. Just all the detail in this game is just beautiful and amazing. That's a big Goombrat! Uh-oh, the Wonder Flower! And we're a balloon Yoshi! He's so big. The fat Yoshi in Mario RPG wishes it was this. Oh, I thought that was a purple coin, I don't know why. Oh, we have a star. I believe more stars will actually spawn. Yes, they will. Oh, oh come on now. There we go. We're fine. And we have our Wonder Seed. There we go. I would not be surprised if I did miss a uh, purple tin coin, though. There's another one. Okay. So you want to wait for one to go down? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> At least I actually got it, though. That's what matters, really. Oh, we missed the second one. Okay, I kind of figured I did. So let's actually go back. I want to assume that it might be upwards. Oh, hold on. There's another little bubble thing here. I think it's the same one from before. Yeah, it is. Maybe we did have to go this way.
Oh yeah, for sure. Yep, it was right here the whole time. I'm an idiot. It was right in front of me the whole time. But luckily I don't have to backtrack to this level though, so it's fine. Oh god, what the heck? <laughs> That's fun. Ooh, in a Mario Maker 3, do you guys think we'd get like a Wonder Style? That would go so hard, dude. Alright! That is it for this level, and I took longer on it than I really needed to. All right, so recording is actually going on for a bit, but we'll do one more level, because why not? We don't really get <laughs> Yellow Yoshi enough screen time here. All right, we have a break time here, Floating Wonder Tokens. We'll do this and then one more regular level. <clears throat> oh. Oh, there we go. I love how weird Yoshi looks when he eats in this game. Like when his mouth is full, it's like a weird, bitter face with it. All right, uh, we got that taken care of. Should we do a one of these levels down here that are hidden? Let me look around. Oh yeah, Ninja Jump Party! I remember this level. Let's actually switch our badge here. Um, let's go with floating high jump. That one's always been a favorite of mine. If you actually jump in the rhythm of the ninjas, you'll get a little fun little bonus here. It's cool. It's so cute, guys. It might be hard to see, but Yoshi actually counts along with the beat, too, so it's pretty cool. Alright! We have Ninji Disco playing. I want to make sure there's nothing up here. I just want to make sure. Okay, nothing. Something very oddly suspicious up there. I think I can break that? I don't recall. Yeah, okay, never mind. It's just a generic disco ball. Yeah, we're gonna have to collect some tokens though, for sure. Oh, that thing is running away from me. Oh, excuse me, I'll eat you. Nothing in there, okay. But yeah, this is one of the other levels that really um, stand out to me, like, Like, you could find more creativity in this level than, like, many past 2D Marios, to be honest. Not to discredit the level design in New Super Mario Bros., but, like, you can easily see, like, there's a massive difference between the creativity levels in this compared to a lot of New Super Mario Bros. worlds, because they all felt the same, you know? But yeah, we did miss a second purple tin coin. So we'll have to come back here.
At the very least, we do not have to worry about um, coming back and having to get another Wonder Seed that I missed, but we don't really have to worry about it. One, two, three, jump! You really got to the, uh, you really got into the beat. We received this rhythm jump badge as a prize too. Oh yeah. Want me to wear it? Eh, we'll show it off, why not? But yeah, that's one of the optional badges. Um You aren't really required to wear it, but you can get coins by jumping in time with the beat, so if you kinda suffer with losing a lot of lives, this'll be good for you because you can obviously stock up on hundreds of coins over and over again. All right, so we're gonna hop back in this level, get that second purple 10 coin, and we'll end off the video after that. There it is. Okay, I don't know why I missed that. All right, see you guys at the flagpole once more. Okay, everybody, that's gonna be it for now. I think we played enough levels for this video. I've been recording for almost 30 minutes now, so I think this is a good stopping point. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more content, of course, and I will see you all next time. Yeah! <laughs>